All right, we are coming to an end of our Trolls World Tour box collector's set review. Uh, if you guys have not watched the other videos, Pure and Trolls World Tour put out an entire collab collection featuring six new eyeshadow palettes, a face palette, and a lip gloss. Uh, that's what comes in the bundle set. I think there are actually a couple other uh, pieces in the collection if you buy it separately, but the bundle set, it retails at $98. It does include the six eyeshadow palettes, that face palette I mentioned, and the lip gloss. I did pick it up during Memorial Day when they were doing a sale, so I wound up getting mine for around $60, which I thought was a great deal for everything that was included in it. Um, it was something that I was looking at buying full price anyway, because I really wanted to explore the collection. I really love Pure, and I love when they do cool collabs, like with Barbie, uh, they did My Little Pony, and of course they've done Trolls. We have been uh, testing out each one of these eyeshadow palettes, and we have totally themed it up. We've gone hardcore into uh, to dressing up, to making an eye look, to fitting with the color scheme. So I really, really took this as seriously as I possibly could uh, while still being at home and not buying anything extra for it. So it was a lot of creativity uh, costuming wise too. But yeah, I really liked how a lot of the looks have come through. Um, and, and I figured since we are testing out all of the palettes, we might as well go ahead and rank them as well. Uh, so that way I can give you guys an idea of what I think is uh, the best palette if you are going to buy them individually. So that is a lot of backstory. Now that you're all caught up, we are on the fifth palette of six. This one is classical. So basically we've gotten through all of the palettes that have really, really wild colors. Uh, techno was like a blue and green scheme. Purple was a uh, funk. Uh, pop was pink. So this one is the classical and it is really just a beautiful brown toned palette. Honestly, if I'm being um, just very candid, this is something that I probably would have overlooked if I was buying them individually, but getting it and looking at it in person, I really love the colors included. Uh, this, I don't know if you guys can properly see it on screen, but this is a beautiful rose gold glitter shade. I am so excited about that. I think it's gonna be one of my favorite in the entire collection of all six palettes. So I'm really Really excited but what I've kind of done beforehand is break down the game plan for the eyeshadow look so this is what I'm thinking we're gonna go wide with a base of this light color here because obviously it's a really nice light shade we're gonna go on top of it with this kind of neutral brown I'm thinking I'm probably going to do a little bit of a dark outer corner using the dark brown. I'm not gonna do a ton of it, but just a touch of it to give it some dimension. Obviously for my uh, my lid shade, I'm gonna have to go with that rose gold shade because I really just love it so much. And I'm kind of going back and forth between the two. Um, honestly, I've tried to feature at least the, uh, the center shade in each one of them. My goal is to use at least five of the shades. If I can use all six, that's even better. This, I'm just being honest, this the center shade, I know it's supposed to be like the eye catching shade in the palette, but it just doesn't speak to me like I want it to. So I'm probably gonna wind up using this one. We may change it up as I get deeper into the eye look, but that's the idea that I've got going on right now. So now that I've explained everything and talked a whole lot, let's jump into the actual makeup aspect of this. So I am going in with that light shade and I'm just gonna give it like a nice base coat. It's about standard what I expected. Not really very visible, just kind of a very neutral flesh toned, well for my pale ass flesh, my flesh toned um, eyeshadow color, which is not a bad thing. I like it, I don't wanna complain about it because I, I always complain when I don't have nice blending shades. Um, and this is a very nice versatile blending shade. But when you only have six colors in a palette, it does make it hard when one of your shades is basically neutral. So, it's good and bad in my opinion. Like it's not a bad thing, it's just for, that is where I struggle with only six colors in each pan. It kind of makes it a little bit more like, is it worth it in my opinion? Just because I would rather spend a little bit more and get a, uh, a palette that features like 12 or even 18 or even 24, depending on the palette and the brand you're looking at colors in it rather than just six. Now these bad boys, uh, I did say with the bundle uh, retailed at, but you can buy them separately and they retail at $18 full price separately. Not horribly steep for, you know, name brand makeup, but still not cheap but they have been going on sale quite a bit. So I know Ulta's put them on sale a couple times and the collection's only been out a little while, so. All right, so we got a nice little base going on. Uh, I am now going to go in, let me find the right brush. I'm gonna go in with the darker, the darker, the medium toned brown shade now, and we're gonna give it a little bit of color. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one a lot, actually. Still very neutral, but once again, that's what I was expecting with the classical. Um, just a very neutral kind of nice, basic, easily usable, easily grabbable, and like do a quick, really pretty, soft, romantic eye look. That's the vibe that this whole palette gives me. And I think 
personally, I gravitate towards brighter colors because I have a lot of neutral shades and I've said that in a couple of the other videos in this series. I have a lot of neutral shades. So for whatever reason, I always feel like, oh, well, I wanna find something new and new tends to be bright. I don't, I also really like using bright colors. So that's also part of it. But if you're looking for a really pretty and travelable neutral palette, I think this is actually going to be a really nice fit to add to your collection if that's kind of what you're you're feeling. I'm really liking this, this brown shade right here is doing a great job of giving me just enough color, but still remaining very subtle. And I, I really am a big fan of it. I'm gonna go back over just a little bit with the neutral shade again and kind of tone it down just a ton, just a tiny bit. Yeah, pretty, very subtle. It's very subtle, It's but that's not a bad thing. It's just very subtle. So, okay, so let's go in with the dark shade now and let's uh, give it a little bit of color and dimension and then we'll, I don't really grab a great brush. I'm gonna go in with the same brush I just used. I didn't grab a great brush. I didn't bring in my whole makeup kit, which I normally did. That was my own fault, but we're gonna go in with the same brush and I think I can make it work. Oh yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. It's good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, I really like that dark brown shade and how um, it, it was. it's once again still very subtle and that could be because I use more of a, um, a loose brush than a, like a really tight bristled brush. brush. I wish I could talk today. Okay, so while I'm doing the other side, I'll take a minute to chat with you guys. Um, I would really love your feedback if you've watched the series or if this is your first video in the series and um, you wanna go and watch the other ones, that would be swell. I think it is helpful to kind of see what each one of the eye looks is, it comes out to be just because it kind of gives you an idea of the variety in the collection and which palettes you think might be best fit for you just based on the colors that are included and what I was able to do for it. I really would like to know, it, was this a good series for you guys? I mean, I know we have one palette left, but is this something that you like seeing? Is it like, is it worthwhile for me to buy entire collections and box sets and stuff and do like individual palette reviews for you guys so you can figure out, do I want the whole set? Do I want just a part of the set? Which one is it if I wanna get just one or two? I hope it was useful because that was kind of my goal. With, I knew it was one of the, the newer things that has been released into the makeup community lately. Um, definitely not one of the biggest things, obviously, because I've talked about how I think Pure is a little bit um, underappreciated and so doesn't necessarily get the amount of attention that I think a lot of its products deserve sometimes. But it definitely is one of the newer um, collections and things on the market. So hopefully it has been kind of useful. But if it's not, then I would also like you guys to let me know so that way I can kind of figure out what would be better for you guys. Personally, for me, I've really enjoyed it. Um, having the theme has been really helpful and it's also, like as silly as this sounds, it's also given me kind of motivation to, um, to really like get back into the habit of dressing up. That sounds so silly, but especially like being in quarantine or, you know, social distancing or self-isolation, whatever you want to call it. We've taken it incredibly seriously. I don't want anybody in my family to get sick. I don't want to get sick personally. Um, so basically I just go to work. Nikki's working from home. So he just goes to the grocery store and like occasionally out to like pick up food and then come back. Um, so we've, we've been pretty um, isolated and, and I really haven't had a need to dress up. And even at work, I'm there by myself in the middle of the night. So it's like, you know, I've just been wearing sweatshirts and, and yoga pants and you know, I do put on jeans just so I can make sure I still fit in them. Um, but I, um, I, I just really haven't like there's been no need to dress up. There's been no motivation to dress up. So this particular collection gave me a chance to, like today I'm wearing a dress and I've worn a couple of my jumpsuits that I haven't worn in forever. And I personally love jumpsuits. So that was just like really nice to, to dress up and to feel like I had a reason to dress up again. So for me, the collection has actually just done kind of a, a lot, especially with, you know, ever all the negativity that's around right now and, and the pain in the world. It's been a really nice outlet to kind of keep me from focusing on that 100% and, and give me, you know, something fun and uh, a reason to, to kind of, you know, dress up and, and just, have fun and then change immediately back into sweatpants. Cause after like really after we finish shooting and we take like our full body shots outside, then I'm like, I come in and I put my yoga pants back on. But you know, it's the little things, it's those little things. So yeah, but that was a long winded rambling story uh, about uh, kind of, you know, how this this series has, has been good for me, but has it been good for you? That's the main point of this story. Did you guys like it? Was it useful information? Did you guys care about the, the palettes? Did it help you, you know, find a new collection that you didn't realize that's on the market? Did you not care about it at all? Do you not know Pure? Do you know Pure but not care about Pure? Like just cut any feedback you guys can give me. All right, let's go in with the glitter shade. I have such high hopes. I am really hoping I am not let down with it. Uh, uh. 
It's it's giving me a little bit of trouble picking up. There we go, a little bit better. It's still, oh, it's just so light. And it's kind of chunking up as I'm like finally getting it to get onto the brush. It's actually like kind of like breaking up the palette, which I don't know, it doesn't look, cause a lot of times that happens with like really, really chunky glitter shades. Like they're almost like a loose glitter that's been pressed. Um, and so a lot of times when you do that, that will kind of happen. This doesn't really look like that. It just kind of like, I mean, it's pretty, but I definitely can tell you the Patricia Bright Rich in Color palette has a gold that is very similar to this and it's much prettier. So I'm actually really disappointed. Let me finish the other eye and then we'll do the highlight shade and then we'll make a decision. But that makes me really depressed, honestly, because I was so excited for this color. I mean, it's, it's really not bad. I don't want to like drag it through the mud and be like, oh, this is the worst glitter shade I've ever used in my whole life. It's not bad, but I've definitely like, I've like worked a hole into the palette where I have tried to like get up glitter just to get on my eyeball. So yeah, I just, I was hoping it was gonna get better. It's not bad, it's just not, I'm really let down by it if I'm being 100% honest. So I think actually looking at the palette now, I'm thinking that the middle shade is gonna be the best highlight shade. Without bashing it, I'm just gonna say there are better neutral palettes out there. If you're looking for a palette <laughs> that has very similar colors and you could create a really pretty, uh, but slightly better eye look, with a slightly better formula, I would go with the Patricia Bright palette. It is $25 instead of 18, and you get, I think, like 28 colors or something like that. I think it's four rows of seven, so 28 colors. And like, it has bright colors. It has, I, I did a whole series on that one too, because there were so many components of that that I wanted to uh, to test. The glitter shade just is very underwhelming. It's. It, I don't think these six colors are worth $18 personally. I, because I got them in a set, I don't, I don't regret it. It's just, I would not buy it separately. So that's like a really cruel way to, to explain what I'm feeling right now. And I don't mean that in a bad way because I really do. I mean, I've talked about it in the past. I love Pure. I really like their collections. Uh, I love their formula most of the time. This one is just a miss for me and that is gonna happen. So, and I'm never gonna lie to you guys and be like, oh, I love it when I don't, so. Okay, so we're going in now with the middle shade. That's prettier. I like that one better. I like that one a lot better. It's like really golden. Let's see, look at that. Can you see that? How disappointing for that one shade that I was so jazzed about. That has happened now with two of the palettes in these, this collection where I've been like super jazzed about certain colors and then I go to use them and I'm like, wow, this one is bad. Like, it's just not good. It's not working, it's not spreadable, it's not blendable, whatever. Then I find another color in the collection. I was kind of like, eh, I think it's gonna be cool. And then it winds up being like breathtaking. It's happened with two or three actually of the palettes. Like. That's not a good look, if I'm being honest. Like that's just, a, eh. so not a bad eye look. It's not bad. I mean, it's I will happily go out and wear this, and I will use the palette again. I'm not gonna make it sound like I'm not gonna ever use it again. Just not my favorite. Well, plain and simple. So let's get some mascara on. Let's see what the final look is. Uh, is all completed, and then uh, we'll we'll rank them. Well, actually, why make you guys wait? Let's rank them now. So before the bracket went, Rock was my favorite, followed by Techno, followed by Funk, followed by Pop. I'm ranking this one dead last. I'm sorry, I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt. Nah, it has finally knocked Pop out of the last spot, which has been in the last spot since week one, day one, whatever, however we post this, day one. Uh, since day one, this is the one that I would not, I would buy the Pop one over the, classical one. And the reason I didn't like the pop one was just because I didn't feel like the colors were super unique. They're just pink colors that I have in a lot of other palettes and ones that I could find in um, in my collection already. So it wasn't new and revolutionary to me. For somebody else that if they don't have a lot of pink shades, it may be actually a great uh, ideal palette for you guys to have in your collection if you just want a little bit of pink. For me, it just was superfluous is I guess the good word for it. Um, this one straight up, I'm telling you, they're, they're, I gave you, I told you the palette to buy if you want colors that are similar, but better. This is the final look. It's really not bad, just not good in my opinion. That's about the nicest thing I can say about it. So I won't go on, I've ranted enough about it. You guys know my feelings by now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. All of the questions I asked you guys, it really would be super helpful if you could answer in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear your feedback. 
Uh, I like your opinions on everything. I like to hear, you know, have you tried out the makeup? Have, are you thinking about trying out the makeup? Anything. I try really hard to communicate with you guys. Um, a lot of times I will see comments, but then it'll take me a little while to go back and respond to them. And I apologize for that. Uh, that is a like psychological thing that I do with texting as well, where I like overthink my response. And then it takes like goes like four days go by. And, and then I'm like, I really need to respond. So that is, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. That's a character flaw. But um, I do really love seeing your comments and I really try hard to respond to them. So definitely leave them. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Dark Angel Beauty yet, please consider doing so. Uh, we would love for you to join our little family. Our YouTube community is, I want it to be positive and loving, but also very honest. So if you guys are interested in that, please hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you see when we post videos much like these. Other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe. You have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.